Hi, in this video, we're going to go over more mouse events. So what is a mouse event? A mouse event is when the user does something with the mouse, such as clicking, moving, or even hovering over a particular part of the screen. We can write programs to do different things depending on what the mouse event is or where it is happening. The JavaScript graphics library contains five mouse events that we can use to create interactive programs that respond to these different mouse inputs. The mouse click method executes a callback function when a mouse is clicked. The mouse move method executes a callback function when a mouse is moved across the canvas. The mouse drag method executes a callback function when a mouse is clicked and then dragged across the canvas. The mouse down method executes a callback function when a mouse button is pressed and the mouse up method executes a callback function when a mouse button is released. In this example, when the mouse is down, the color of the circle is changed to red, and once released, the color of the circle is blue. Let's now take a look at an example in the editor. Okay, so now that we're in the editor, we're going to be writing a program that allows us to do some simple paintings onto our canvas. In the process, we'll be going over the mouse events that can be used. So to start off, we're going to be creating a function that creates an object and adds it to the canvas every time a mouse event happens. And we'll name that function paint. The paint function will need to take in a parameter e. And then we can write in the function's body. So here, our parameter e is short for event. So our function paint is going to be receiving information about some event as an argument and then using that information to draw a circle. In this case, we're using the x and y location of where the event is taking place in order to position our circle. Next, let's add a method to our main function that'll draw a circle on the canvas whenever we move the mouse over the canvas. The method we will use is called mouse move method. The mouse move method will take in our function paint as a parameter with no parentheses. Great, now if we hit run, we should be able to paint on our canvas. And there we go, we've created a simple painting program. Our circles are coming out black because we didn't specify what color we wanted them to be. Let's use our randomizer function so we can have a bunch of different colors for our circles. Okay, now if we hit run again, we should see a lot of different colors. Great, by adding color to our circles, we're actually able to see all of the individual circles that we're creating. One last method that we can look at is the mouse drag method. All we need to do is change move to drag. And then when we hit run again, and we go over the canvas, there are no circles being drawn. That's because the mouse drag method requires us to click on the mouse first and then drag the mouse around. Once we let go of the click, it'll stop painting circles. And if we click again and hold, it'll start drawing the circles again. So these are just a couple more mouse event methods that we can use. Now it's your turn to go and have some fun exploring.